Auto Line Garage is brought to you by Bridgestone, your journey, our passion. In an effort to keep drivers more safe by alerting them of an underinflated tire or tires, an electronic tire pressure monitor system is required on all light duty vehicles made after 2007. If the pressure in any of the tires drops 25% or about 8 psi in your average passenger car, Below the manufacturer recommended pressure, this light will pop up on the dash. While we've noted that this could be an access point for hackers into your car, I still think it's a needed system. It can be very difficult for anyone to tell the difference between a tire that's properly inflated and one that's 50% below the recommended level. And people that don't ever bother to check, which is a higher number than you may think, would otherwise be driving on a blowout waiting to happen. Now it's a fact that tires will lose a small amount of air, about a quarter to half a PSI every month, even if there's not a problem. It's also a fact that the average person tends to freak out if any light pops up on their dash, running to the nearest dealer or repair shop to see what's up. And with the switch to winter weather and much colder temperatures, those pesky low tire lights will be popping up on thousands of vehicles. Because for every 10 degree Fahrenheit drop in temperature, a tire's air pressure will decrease by about 1 psi. There's no need to freak out if there was a big drop in temperature and now your TPMS light is on. If you have a tire gauge in your car, which you should, just calmly head over to the nearest gas station and fill your tires. Or if you don't have a gauge, I'm sure most repair shops or dealerships will be willing to accommodate you. Another good tip for those of you with TPMS is to keep your wheels clean. Most sensors have an aluminum valve that's bolted to an aluminum wheel with an aluminum cap. And we all know how aluminum on aluminum loves to corrode. I've started to see more cases of air leaking around these valve stems. And as I've said before, if the sensor has to be replaced, it can cost well over $100. For Autoline Garage, I'm Sean McElroy.